what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? As cries to defund the police becomes louder and actions taken to actually implement change goes into effect. Police all over America are shaking in their boots. Cop apologists all over the United States are afraid of dun, 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 the boogeyman. You see, the boogeyman family is a fictitious character who exists only in the minds of those who feel like the police does an excellent job. They're in denial, and some of them just don't care how the police treat people who don't look like them. That's what it boils down to. Everybody knows that there's a major problem in the U.S. with policing. You can't continue to just add cops and add more money to the budgets when their performance continues to decline. Where they do that at? Like, where else can you go? What other profession can you just go to where they continue to give you more money as you continue to do a horrible job? Your rating is at an all-time low. Morality in the communities that you serve is at an all-time low. Trust in the communities that you serve is at an all-time low. So how do you justify getting more money? How do you justify hiring more people to do the same type of work? Incompetent, scary slow pokes. The police departments all over America, they're drowning in these type of people. Klansmen, neo-Nazis, white supremacists. They're everywhere. They must be defunded. There is no other way. Congratulations to the city of Los Angeles. Chop the police budget by $100 million. Good. They're one of the worst. Congratulations to New York. Chop the budget by $1 billion. Listen, fam, these people got a $6 billion budget for 30,000 cops. That's insane. I bet you anything, $4 million of it goes toward settling lawsuits. $4 billion goes toward settling lawsuits. They don't deserve it, fam. Who deserves a raise when they do a horrible job? You can't go nowhere and get a bonus when you don't perform. Bonuses are based on performance. Growth and development is based on performance. Police, are, uh, police departments all over America are underperforming. One might argue that they're actually performing exactly the way that they're intended to, but they lie to us and tell us that they're here to serve and protect us. But we know nothing could be farther from the truth. They're not here to serve and protect us. They're here to serve the state and protect the privileged. They need to be defunded. And so for all you people out there that's afraid, like, 911, who's going to who answer the phone? Who's going to answer the call at 911? So you got to be very careful with this one right here, fam, because the police is known for creating chaos and then swooping in to play the hero. 
So I can easily see them setting up something where somebody called 911 and that was a police officer didn't get there in time or something didn't happen in time and then they blame it on the fact that they didn't have enough cops out there because they were defunded. And had they not be, been defunded, then they could have gotten to the scene a lot sooner and maybe this wouldn't have happened. Or they got to the scene and the cop that was on the scene got killed, but if you would have had a partner with him, then it wouldn't have happened. You know, they always take that one incident and they blow it up to justify changing a law or getting the public to forego their rights, to actually just give up their rights. They'll use one incident. But when they're out there killing and destroying and creating mayhem, you can have literally thousands of incidents with police corruption and they'll tell you, well, it's just a few bad apples. But as soon as like one person does something, one person can do something or it can be some, an, an odd situation where something doesn't occur all the time, but they'll be like, they'll make it like it occurred. They, they're going to create a, a mountain out of a molehill. That's how they do. So that's the game that they're going to play. And there's so many dumb people in America. Many of them will fall for it. They're already falling for it already. What do you mean? What do you mean? Defund the, defund the police? Who, 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 who rescue me? Fool can't, the police can't. Let me, let me tell you something right now. The police can't rescue you right now, dummy. The police only comes around after the crime has been committed. So if somebody is trying to kill you, the police is not going to stop somebody from trying to kill you. The police shows up after the crime has been committed in over 99% of cases. All the police shows up and commit the crime. He creates the crime. This is how it goes. This is the game. This is the hustle. And the reason why they're still doing the slave patrolling, profiling black folks, because they want to put black folks in jail so that they can continue to run that prison meal. Get that free slave labor. That's what it's always been about, and that's what it continues to be about. All of these black people and Hispanic people, well, Mexicans, locked up in prison, forced into slavery. That's why they kept that slave part in the Constitution. Because they was like, okay, we're going to let them go. But guess what? They really ain't going to be free. Because we're just going to make up things to just put them back in jail. We'll dangle something out in front of them. If they fall for it, we're going to get them. We're going to get all the ones who, first of all, we're going to get the ones who go out there and do something on their own against the law. We're going to get those. And that, that'll be a, a, a percentage right there. But you know what? It's not happening fast enough. Uh, let's entrap them. Let's plant, put the dope on the streets. Let's put the guns on the streets. Keep in mind, family, while Nancy was out there saying, say no, say no to drugs, Ronnie was out there on the block slinging drugs. They're hypocrites, fam. This is the truth. I'm not making this up. I'm not in my feelings. This is truth serum. These people have no intention on ever treating members of the black community with respect, decency, and fairness. They have no intention. When they're talking about defunding the police, we're talking about taking those funds that you would have given to the police to and diverting those funds to social programs that actually assist the community. Defunding the police does not mean getting rid of the police altogether. 
It means taking a lot of those funds and diverting them to social services so that you ain't got to call the police as much. See, that's what they don't want. The police is not there to help, man. You know, the whole system is not designed to help people. It's not designed to protect people. If the people were protected, if, if everybody felt safe, then there would be no need for all these cops and there'd be no need for all of these lawyers and prosecutors and judges. And a lot of people just lose their money. They're gonna lose their hustle. So they got to keep the hustle going, fam. If you think the police is out here to protect you, even the rich, you are dumber than the dumbest person you've ever heard of. Plain old dumb. The police don't give a damn about you, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your son, your daughter, your cousin, your friend, your neighbor. Police is here to occupy. They're here to shake the public down, to get paid, in most cases. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?